Good evening, children. It's an honor to be here to talk to you, children. And what he mentioned as one of the oldest schools, well, I opened the school in Gurgaon in 1981 because my children, two sons, did not get admission in one of the schools here. So I requested my wife to be the principal, and we started the school with 27 students about 34 years back. Well, <laughs> thank you. Uh, today is a very important day, and the history goes back to 1930, when Mahatma Gandhiji declared Swaraj for us. He said, we will, it is our right to be free. And that is in 1930, he had said so. Coming on, I won't take too long, uh, not more than five minutes. Children, kindly raise your hand if somebody has got a watch that in five minutes, I should wind up. So in five minutes, uh, after five minutes, okay? <laughs> you don't want to hear me at all, I can imagine. Yes, uh, definitely you come here to hear, listen to the songs, to see the dances of the children. Uh, before independence, our freedom fighters had fought a lot and once we got it, there was a little turmoil in the country. Because of that, the survival had become a little difficult. And people got in a hurry, became corrupt, they became greedy, they became selfish. And that probably was something which was not right. And today, when we've got a new government, the basic agenda for this government is honesty, elimination of corruption. And the very purpose, the only way that India can go forward is once we are truthful and honest. I'm conveying this for the sake of the children, that you need to do it strongly. In my case, my mother taught me this. Once I'd gone for shopping, she had given me a rupee to buy some vegetables. I looked around in my knicker pocket, the rupee was not there. And I thought I had given it to probably to the shopkeeper. And he gave me 12 annals back. So I brought the sabji and 12 annals. And when I put my hand in the pocket to return the money to my mother, it was one rupee and 12 annals. She, she said, go back and return it to him. And another thing, when I was in class 10th, I had decided not to tell lies. Today is the day when we are talking about Mahatma Gandhi and his experiments with truth. Well, children, I have experienced this for the last about 45 years. It was in 10th, maybe 45, 50 years now. That whatever I wish or desire happens. You are at that age, and I'm sure. One good lesson that all of us can take is that from now onwards, another pledge that yes, we will not be selfish, we shall be honest, and we shall not cheat, and we'll be truthful. And the strength in truth is tremendous. I'll quickly quote an example that when I desire something, how it happens, I told my wife that I want to meet the army chief after my retirement. That was point number one. I said I want to meet him within two, three days. Then the third thing I uttered immediately was, I want to meet him in his house, not in his office. I just desired these three things. And on the second day, I get a call from a friend of mine. He said, I'm here for a housewarming ceremony in Sector 23. Can you kindly come over? It'll be a pleasure. I'll be able to meet him. I land up there. What do I find? I'm in the army chief's house. He's in uniform. He's doing the housewarming ceremony of his new house that he has just constructed. And this is it. And there are many, many examples that I have in life for this part. So children, this is something you need to do, and then only our country can move forward. A lot of changes are happening. One of them is, for example, a couple of years back, the president of America didn't know where India was, its location. And imagine today he sits. The president of India comes and stays here for three days. It's something really great that a President of a, one of the strongest country is coming down and sharing it with our Prime Minister, his three days with our Republic Day. And to take us forward, the various 
things that our country or the new prime minister has started, let's support him. Let's really get down to him to make sure that whatever he is wanting, all of us join hands together and do it. About two minutes back, five minutes back, I got a call from a Hindustan Times press reporter that today an announcement has been made that Gita will be taught in these schools. What are your views? Probably it will be there in the Hindustan Times paper tomorrow, probably my comments. I said, what is wrong in it? Gita teaches us to be honest, to do our work. And to do our work means karam yogi. And that is what it is all about. I had, I've not read Gita, I'm going to read it now, but I've heard all the shlokas from my grandfather. He used to recite them in a beautiful manner about various things, about doing things in a right manner. Well, nobody's raised their hand, but I'm sure five minutes are over. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you very much and enjoy the evening. Thank you. So come join us in this nation building project. Together we can contribute to our community and our nation. Let us begin by singing our national anthem, Jan Ganman, with passion, pride, and precision. That is in around 52 seconds, thereby honoring and respecting our nation's institutions as laid out in the Constitution of India. Record a video of yourself singing a song of your choice, upload it onto YouTube, and enter the online contest entry form. You could win an opportunity to perform at our annual awards function at a large venue in the National Capital Region. You could also watch our videos on the Come India Sing page of Lorraine Music Academy or on the Lorraine Music Academy's channel on YouTube. Visit Come India Sing page on Facebook and like it. Spread the word and let us together build our nation. Jai Hind!